his and my trip to Britain and Europe. He further asked that I add a few, t few lines about my life during my first 99 years. I'm glad he didn't ask about my second 99 years. <laughs> that would be no easy task. <laughs> At 16, I joined Stelco, running a machine in the mill. A couple of years later, the office personnel decided that I could do better in the office, so I joined the payroll department. This lasted about five years. Then I was asked if I was interested in managing the stationery and office equipment de department. This included the mailroom. Like everything else, I was getting older and I was looking around for someone to share my life with. After a few female friends, I finally found my dream girl, Elizabeth Jean Pigeon. Ding, 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 ding. In 1936, this started a courtship and we decided to marry in 1938. This marriage started a wonderful union and we lived in perfect harmony for 50 years, except for four years I spent in the Canadian Army. <laughs> I retired at 62, and we spent a few years vacationing, moving about in various homes, and more importantly, raising two fine sons. At 65, my wife had a very serious fall from which she never fully recovered. She died in 1991 after a 10-year struggle. I too have never ever fully recovered from my loss. My son David helped me immensely in 1992, taking the two of us for a, a trip overseas to Great Britain. We visited all the British Isles and crossed over to France and all the recent battle areas. That's all for now. Thank you, Dave. William McFadden, Hamilton, 2013. Yeah, thank Bravo. you. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo.